6.2, number 15. Here we want to factor the trinomial, v squared plus 5vf minus 24f squared. So what we're going to want to do is factor it into two binomials. And we're going to want v as the first terms, because v times v gives us v squared. We know we're going to have f as the last piece right here and here, so that we get the f squared, but we also need some other numbers that are going to give us a minus 24 when we multiply them, and they're going to give us a plus 5 when we add for the middle terms. So there's a lot of ways to do these. What I like to do usually is look at factors of the last term, so factors of minus 24 that add up or sum to the middle term of plus 5. So let's think about the factors of 24. We could have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 8 times 3, 6 times 4, and we want it to be negative. So one of them has to be a negative in each pairing. We also want them to add up to be a positive 5. So that means that we want the larger number to be a positive and the smaller to be a negative. That way it'll add up to be a positive. Oops, minus 3 plus 8 minus 4 plus 6. All right, and now what we do is just look and see what they add up to. This one adds up to 23. This one adds up to 10. This one adds up to 5. So 8 plus negative 3 gives us the correct number, positive 5. That means we're going to want to use the plus 8 minus 3 in our factoring. So let's go ahead and put it in. Positive 8 minus 3. And then we can just FOIL it out to double check to make sure it works. V times V is V squared. So this is the check. Minus 3VF plus 8VF minus 24F squared. And that gives us V squared plus 5VF minus 24F squared. We look back up top. Yep, it worked. So that means that that is our correct factoring.